A few months ago, I set out to street legal this cross cart, and guys, I fulfilled my promise thanks to Dirt Legal. So more about that later in this episode. But it was just so much months of waiting for the DMV to get the documents, and also we had a fair share of issues come up, like the engine almost blew up, so stuff like that. But we're finally here. And I gotta also shout out Koenig for supplying me with these beautiful looking wheels. They look amazing. This is gonna complete the street look and give us some DOT approved tires that are rated for high speed. I did go slightly overkill with these rear tires. They're basically drag radials at this point, but it's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's going on a race car. Yeah, some type of some face. In order to run the Koenig wheels, I had to convert over to Miata spindles, brakes, and all that stuff. Basically, this thing is 50% Miata, I'd say. But uh, here are the spindles, and what we're going to do is cut them and lighten them and weld our own brackets to them. And these are GSX-R600 brake calipers. I got this idea from Redbeard's Garage. The rear rotors basically slide right in the calipers and you don't have to machine anything. It's a perfect fit. This video was brought to you by Dirt Legal. When they reached out to me a few months ago and asked me if I wanted to work with them, I instantly hopped on board and I didn't even know a service like theirs existed. But they specialize in getting your off-road vehicle street legal. So you no longer have to go into the DMV and wait in long lines. You no longer have to get inspection. And even if you have missing paperwork, they can get you covered. So this service is catered for like RZRs, Can-Ams, but you can also uh, register kit cars like mine. Um, just make sure you have all the proper safety stuff. Um, Chinese buggies, motorcycles, cars, they can do it all. So what they do is you pay them a fixed rate uh, usually around $400 and they take care of everything for you. They send you a title and a license plate and it doesn't matter what state you're in. They can get you street legal in just a few weeks. So big shout out to Dirt Legal for helping me get my cross card street legal. I have the first link in the description to that. But guys, let's go ahead and get back to the video. So that's the before, and this is the after. So check it out, guys. Looks really good in there. I just mocked the caliper up. Alright guys, so I got the first caliper welded on and just looking at the clearance we have plenty. Um, of course some of you might not be sure about this, but I did everything correctly. I preheated this, I used the correct filler rod and I think it came out awesome. So the old steering arms right there I cut off and the new one is going to be right here and then same thing right there. So Alright guys, so I got the spindles welded and check that out. I used two different filler rods on both of them. Both are the correct ones, but we're just gonna have to see which one holds up. Now, if anyone out there could make me some billet aluminum spindles that don't cost an arm and a leg, uh, please email me down in the uh, email below.
All right, guys, so I had to do all that just for these wheels. Um, but I think in the end it's going to be worth it. Well, guys, it's been a few months since I last worked on this thing. Uh, I don't know, I just got busy, went on vacation, but I'm finally back. And now that we have uh, all the documents we need to get this thing street legal, I'm finally going to finish it. Uh, so what I'm working on now is getting this cowl done. Uh, I bent this out from one sheet of aluminum in the last episode. Whew, it's hot. And uh, we bent it, now I'm just trimming it, and we got to weld a few pieces to it and make it look nice. And then I'm going to paint it, and that's going to be half of the body panels done. Well guys, I finished the cowl and the perfectionist in me wants to just sand everything and make it smooth but I know that's going to take days and I'm probably going to beat this panel up anyway so I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes out for the tabs, cut it and then I'm actually going to bedline this uh, hood so it doesn't like throw, catch your eyes or anything like that on the street and whatnot. One of the last things I need to do is mount this wing. And we're going to mount it roughly in this location right here. This is what I'm going to be cutting it out of. And I bought a jigsaw right here to help get some uh, nice curves going and holes and dimples and whatnot. So yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, so I bent out the wing brackets and I'm very surprised uh, I got them basically perfect on the first try. This will mount to the chassis, you know, somewhere like that. And then we'll be able to tilt the, link, uh, the wing to get the right level we want. Wow guys, I am absolutely amazed at how they came out, how the wing brackets came out. Now, I was thinking about welding like an X cross brace, but you know, welding aluminum makes it weaker, so I don't really want to do that. Now what we're working on is getting the tail light mounted. This is going to be turn signals, brake light, and tail light all in one. And I would have loved it to actually be able to go under the wing, so it's kind of hidden, but um it's like two inches too wide so I'm just gonna go ahead and mount it like you see it now and I think it should be good and then as for the license plate 
Uh, it'll probably be right there. I mean, or we could do something like, like that, maybe. Wow guys, I am amazed with how everything turned out. The hood, the wing mounts look so nice and the Koenig wheels do give it a nice touch. So, um, I'm excited to drive it. I'm gonna go ahead and strap my GoPro on and take you guys for a drive. We did actually a lot of changes to this thing since the last time I drove it three months ago. Uh, gearing, brakes, tires, wheels, um, we're gonna have a lot of downforce now with the wing and this hood so we'll just have to see how it performs but now that it's street legal we can finally take it on the streets and not worry about anything so catch you on the streets guys this thing is a ton of fun but that's gonna be a wrap for this video of course big shout out to Koenig for supplying me with his beautiful decagram wheels and also dirt legal for helping me get this thing street legal it's been a long long process but we're finally here so I have the link in the description to that if you're interested in their service and again there's a whole bunch of other sponsors you got to think like Oxbeam and HTP welders but guys I think for now I'm just gonna enjoy this thing um, I still need to paint it and just I guess work out the kinks, but that will come with time If you're new to the channel you like the content Please consider subscribing and leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video Well, I have to catch you in the next one. Peace out guys